they wanna know about the boy. Know about the boy, they wanna know about the boy. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Mills from Kicks and Collectibles. This time we have the Puma Cross Heli Hansen collab. Let's take a closer look at the box. So, you know, pretty standard in terms of Puma collab packaging, as you can see from the boxes in the back. You got the joint logo on the right hand side, and it's just plain white on the left. Okay, that's new. Um, so I'm guessing the materials here may cause us an issue later on down the line. So really like the way that they've got this check pattern with the both logos all over it really like that yellow it pops colorway here is the puma black quiet shade as you saw there this box is for the mid-size silhouette so it is a little bigger than you know the boxes you'll see behind us but you know let's not waste any more time and let's just crack this open Big bird, jagged like yellow bills, like big bird. Holla at me, brat. Aye, what's the word? I hit the black with big glass. Don't twist your words. I twist your head, break, make your neck crack, crack. You got a cup of cheesy records, now you sell crack. Shit sound funny, but I don't make money. I just take money. Okay, let's get on to the build of the sneaker. So you start off with the rubber outsole, super grippy as usual. Moving on to that EVA midsole. You know a lot of protection and cushioning you got a neoprene up on these sneakers which is different you got the puma form stripe in the same place as always moving on to that full lace closure and obviously these are mid so it goes up to the top got rough suede overlays on these which feel pretty premium if you ask me you know you got a padded collar and tongue on this shoe as well feels great when it's on reflective elements as always with the rsx and you've got that puma cross heli hansen branding on the tongue there that Heli Hansen branding does actually carry on in the back of the shoe, but I'll show y'all that later. Just wanted y'all to see the reflective nature of the sneaker. Carries on into the laces as well. It's pretty bright. I mean, genuinely love that addition. So let's give you another view from the side. Just again, taking in the reflective nature of the shoe. Puma and Heli Hansen have actually collaborated before on other sneakers like the Liquid Cell and the Future Rider. This is the second season of them working together. Now, this is what they call track and field meets mountain and sea. And you can definitely see all those things come together in this RSX silhouette to form a pretty cohesive sneaker. Now, you can see the mountain climbing kind of element to it in those laces. Look a little bit like bungee cords in that metal eyelet just above the vamp. Heli Hansen themselves were founded in 1877 and primarily make mountain climbing gear, sports, and sea wear. As far as pricing goes, these are 132 pounds in the UK, 150 euros in the rest of Europe, and $130 in the US. Now, this colorway is called Puma Black Quiet Shade. So let's go ahead and compare these Heli Hansens with the Sanquans and the Hot Wheels RSX collabs that I currently have out. I do have the added errors as well. You can go ahead and catch all those reviews on the channel currently. Now, the mids are vastly different, but these Heli Hansen collab mids are also different to the regular mids as you can see with this comparison picture. So the main difference here being the removal of their rubber piece at the back and the pull tab that is the same across most of the RSX lines. Now, another difference that I've found isn't on the outside of the sneaker, but actually on the sole. So there's usually a like a, a raised padding just where I was pointing a second ago. That's now been removed in the RSX 3. You can see it clearly here in the RSX Hot Wheels collab. And let me go ahead and look in the Sanquans collab because you can actually see it a little better. So yeah, that's a pronounced bump in the bottom of the shoe. And you know what? Look, you don't feel any difference because it's not there. But I don't know why it's not there, if that makes any sense. Now the other major difference is along the front of the Heli Hansen collab, which I'll show y'all in a minute when I turn it round. But for now, let's just take a side-by-side -side of the RSX low and the mid behind. So you can really see that height difference between the low and the mid. Now, let's just take that away and show y'all the front of the sneakers. Now, here you can see the difference in the toe cap, right? You've got this texturized piece on the front of the Hansons. 
where you don't have it on the Hot Wheels. Not really many other major differences from this angle apart from this elongated part here that you can see from the eyelet and obviously the height uh, of it being a mid. Now, picking it up and taking a closer look at some of these finer details, you can see some textures on the toe there and that yellow stitching underneath that gray part, which I love. The neoprene is just glistening. You can see the difference in textures on both of those suede overlays. Now, coming around to the front of the sneaker, you can see how thick the collar and the tongue padding is. It does feel like you're wearing like basketball sneakers when you know you wear these, but this right here, this is my favorite detail. I, I love that. I wish they had added a couple more. Overall, another great sneaker from Puma in the RSX range. Another awesome collab. And I love the sneaker. What more can I say? If you like the video, hit like. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. Peace, man. They want to know about the door.